Here's the opening frame from today's session, pulled directly from MPC-051. No filters applied, no artificial contrast, no mapped color layers, just the untouched raw capture, exactly as it came in. You can see the glow holding a dense, concentrated core, while the outer halo fades smoothly into the background. Even at this level, there's a faint extension drifting off to the right, lining up almost perfectly with the solar direction reference. It's subtle, but it proves the object isn't stationary. There's motion hiding in the light before any processing is added. Now, switch to the intensity mapped version from the same session. With the color scale applied, the inner structure becomes almost impossible to overlook. The tight red center pins down the highest brightness region, while the surrounding green and blue layers show how the illumination spreads outward. What stands out most is how compact that core remains. It forms a clean circular shape instead of stretching or warping at the edges. And once again, on the right-hand side, the glow thins and tapers in the same direction that appeared in the raw frame. Even here, before we get into complex filters, the object is showing a preferred orientation, like something within is releasing material unevenly. Back in a neutral grayscale view, and this frame tells its own quiet story. The core sits sharply defined, darker than the surrounding haze, a hallmark of a concentrated central source. What's interesting is how smooth and uniform the outer glow appears. No significant stretching, no clumping, no signs of turbulence around the core. But that faint reach toward the right still shows through. Even without color mapping or enhancement, you can see the light pulling just slightly in one direction. Subtle, yes, but persistent across every frame collected so far, and consistency means it's real. Now we hit the point where today's biggest change becomes impossible to miss. This is the rotational gradient version of the same frame. This filter wipes away the soft coma, stripping it down until only directional features remain. And look at what leaps out. A bright, narrow plume pushing outward on one side, paired with a thinner, fainter structure pointing in the opposite direction. This is the new development emerging today, a jet-like outflow with a faint counter jet behind it. The rotation filter isn't generating this pattern, it's exposing it. The central emission splits into two opposing directions, which means the material coming off the object isn't being released symmetrically. Something inside is turning, pushing the strongest outflow along a defined axis. This brings us to the first frame tonight, where the internal structure becomes unmistakable. Here's the entire sequence from the session lined up side by side. With all four processing layers displayed together, the pattern sharpens. The raw image shows a compact glow. The intensity map tightens the bright core. The grayscale confirms symmetry without distortion, and the rotational gradient tears away the veneer, revealing the new jet-like plume extending outward with a faint mirror line behind it. This isn't a processing artifact. It's the same directional structure repeating across every technique. Each step strips away noise until the underlying shape emerges. And today, that structure has direction, a defined axis where fresh material is flowing away from the core. This combined panel is the strongest verification so far that something internal to 3i Atlas changed within the past 24 hours. Now here's the longer perspective, a full two-week evolution of 3i Atlas from November 15th through December 3rd, all from the same observatory. When these frames are lined up, the transformation becomes clearly progressive. In the earliest images, the glow is tiny, round, featureless. By late November, the coma expands and the illumination begins spreading unevenly. Crossing into December, the shape begins pushing outward along a consistent direction, the same axis highlighted in today's high contrast frames. None of these changes are explosive or abrupt. It's a steady, measured buildup. But the key point is this. Every date in this sequence shows the same subtle directional drift long before today's jet-like structure appeared. The shift has been building for weeks. Today is simply the first moment where it becomes undeniable. 
Now let's frame today's behavior with real data. This comparison plot tracks the dust production activity of 3i Atlas against two well-studied objects, 2i Borisov and Comet C2020F0-NEO-WISE, and the difference is dramatic. The orange curve belongs to 3i Atlas. Its aft row values sit far above both Borisov and NEO-WISE at equivalent distances from the sun. It's not just more active, it shows a much sharper rise and decline as it moves away from the sun. That means its dust output spikes hard and fades fast, exactly matching what the images are showing, sharp, directed features instead of a slow, diffuse cloud. Borisov sits at the bottom with consistently low output. Neowise sits in the middle with a textbook coma profile. And then there's 3i Atlas, occupying its own category entirely. This helps explain why the new jet-like structure is appearing so clearly today. The object isn't just active, it's hyperactive compared to the only other interstellar visitor we've studied up close. Which brings us to now. Today's frames don't just show more dust or a brighter glow, they reveal structure, a genuine directional feature cutting through the coma in a way we haven't observed from this object before. Whether the cause is rotation, an asymmetrical outflow, or something we haven't identified yet, one thing is certain, 3i Atlas isn't done surprising us. Now I want your take. Does this look like typical behavior for an interstellar visitor? Or does it suggest something more unusual might be happening here? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I go through all of them. If you're finding these daily updates helpful, hit like so more people can follow the unfolding story. And make sure you're subscribed. This object is evolving fast, and I'll be tracking every shift as it happens. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.